paid 945 bucks for the car. What's up guys? I hope you're having, will have, or did have a wonderful day. Thanks for clicking back on my channel. Ready for another episode on Project Black Widow. That's right, Project Black Widow. So as you saw from the video, we've stripped down the car pretty much all the way, as far as I'm gonna take it anyway, other than pulling out the wire loom on the interior, or at least back up to the firewall, because I will be painting it black i don't know if you guys caught in the video or not but i actually found the original t-top covers i don't know if you guys are as surprised as i am by that but i didn't think in a million years i would ever find those things and they were just underneath the carpet in the back this firebird's also a virgin there is no fuel pump Hatch cut in back there above the uh, fuel tank. Let me know in the comments down below if you think I should cut a hatch or should I drop the tank? Keep in mind, I am doing a 5.3 liter V8, the LM4, and I've been told that I need to put a V8 fuel pump in. So we will be doing a fuel pump. I just need to know if you guys think I should cheese out or <laughs> Take the easy road and cut a hatch, or should I just drop the tank? This car is absolutely filthy. I think somebody had birds. There's bird seed and all kinds of change. Probably uh, a few bucks, five bucks in change, and I found a $5 bill. So originally I paid $9.50 for this car, so I'm down to about $9.40. Uh, I did order tubular upper control arms. They're not here yet. Man, I tell you what, uh, the lower control arms, tubular lower control arms, are super, super expensive. And the K-member, tubular K-member is super expensive too. I want to do that, I just don't know. I mean, I kinda wanna get this car back together as soon as possible, and I just don't know where I'm gonna lie as far as funding goes for this thing but i think if i talk to my wife really sweet she might okay the purchase so we'll just have to see on that so next video i'm gonna clean out the interior probably bring out a pressure washer pressure wash the thing and dry it up real good and then i'm just gonna rattle can black uh the interior because you know obviously panels and stuff go over it you're never gonna see it but i don't want somebody to pull off a panel and then oh this car used to be bluish green um i, I just don't want to do that i will be stripping down the engine bay more get all this stuff out of here i did a little test patch of the black here and, and it kind of ran a little bit but I, i'll just re-scuff that up and shoot it again um, basically i'm going to paint the engine bay transmission tunnel interior all that and then we can start thinking about putting things back together i still have to pull the lm4 out of the donor vehicle i'm not really looking forward to that sitting out in my gravel lot and i don't think my engine hoist is gonna wheel at all on gravel and the donor vehicle doesn't run and it barely pushes. So uh, yeah, I'm just not looking forward to that, but we'll, we'll figure something out, we'll, we'll get her done. So 
um, I absolutely got my ass kicked pulling the windows out of this thing. Uh, on the first one, I just kind of went at it blind. I didn't really have any idea. I didn't really have any idea of what I was doing and fought it, fought it, fought it. And I finally got it. I was so worried I was gonna break the window. But it came out in one piece, so I was pretty happy about that. And then on the passenger side, I slowed down a little bit, put some constructive thought behind it, and it wasn't as bad. So hopefully they can go back in without a fight. I will be changing out the regulator motor, the whole thing. They were pretty slow and wobbly. There's pieces broken in there. So anyway, we'll get those replaced and get the doors back together after we paint them. Uh, anyway, again, guys, thanks for tuning in. I have a, uh, I have a little something, I have a little something special planned for these Firebird emblems. I really hope it turns out. I'm super stoked about it. I think it'll be super cool. And I don't know that anybody has ever done what I want to do with those emblems before. So hopefully that'll turn out and it'll be badass. So let me also know in the comments down below, I, I, I'm pretty sure that I want to remove this molding here. It's kind of the rubberized molding. I don't think it's gonna paint well. And I think I prefer the look of the car without the molding. And I know door dings and all that kind of stuff, that's a chance I'm gonna take, but hopefully nobody door dings it. Um, but I don't like the molding. Let me know what you guys think. So again, thanks for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Next video, we'll get this thing cleaned out and hopefully sprayed black on the interior and engine bay. And then we'll go from there. Thanks, guys. See you in the next one. Peace. And I'm out.